So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Do you like parties? Because you've been invited to one. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Are you ready to attend? Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrad, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Each guest, at some point in the past, wronged their mysterious host. Now he's hired us to exact his revenge. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. It fills my heart with warmth to see you So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Marie Paliella is quite a hard worker. She's in the chapel day and night, tending to the sick and injured. Please, go on. Go, go, socialize. Talk to those fine people, and then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. <laughs> has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, we're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now, who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, you poor dear. Well, this does make things difficult for me. I want to find the gold as much as anyone, but you need it so much more than I do. The little dark elf. She seems a nice enough girl. But to be perfectly honest, I've never trusted their kind. The little dark elf. She seems a nice enough girl. 
But to be perfectly honest, I've never trusted their kind. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. He's a Nord. Mead swilling barbarians, all of them. From what I gathered, he's a retired soldier. He's been all across the Empire fighting in various campaigns. Goodness, he's handsome. He's young, well-educated, and obviously full of himself. Not much different than any young nobleman, really. All right. I doubt it. It's good of you to say so. I like that a lot. That's cute. You think I'm afraid of you? Talk tough to me. I love tough guys. I like that a lot. I doubt it. Thank you. I doubt it. That's cute. You think... How nice. That's great. How's it go again? All right, I get it. The little dark elf. She seems a nice enough girl. But to be perfectly honest, I've never trusted their kind. He's a Nord. Mead's... All right. Thank you. That's great. How's it go again? I doubt it. Don't make me laugh. I doubt it. Blow away, windbag. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. It's good of you to say so. That's not bad. Hmm? Oh, yes. Maybe we'll speak again later. Here we all are. Certainly is a nice house. Ah, oh, yes, the sixth guest. I'm Neville. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Ah, oh, yes, Dovizi Dran. She's a dark elf, originally from Morrowind, or so I hear. I get the sense she doesn't like me very much. Matilde seems like an upstanding citizen of the Empire. She respects the law and recognizes the Legion as Tamriel's greatest defense against evil. Nels is a Nord, and like all Nords, he's a lawless barbarian with no respect for authority. Primo's a blue blood. A noble through and through. He thinks he's better than most people, and in most cases, he's right. We'll see. Is that so? I wish I could say that. Where'd you get that? That's good! Don't try to manipulate me. Not now, not later, not ever. Well done. 
Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Oh, please. That's really funny. What nonsense. Is that so? Really? Interesting. You're wasting your breath. Remarkable. Don't talk such rot. That's great. How's it go again? Remarkable. Where'd you get that? That's good. You're wasting your breath. Don't try to manipulate me. Don't waste your flattery on me. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Oh, please. What a great story. That works for me. Hmm? Oh, yes. Maybe we'll speak again later. Hello there. Well, hello there. Nels is my name. Some call me naughty, but don't you believe it. <laughs> Dovisi is a sweet young lass. She reminds me of someone I knew. But perhaps we should talk about something else. Kinda stuck up, that one. Right before you got here, I told her the funniest joke about an Argonian maid, and she didn't even crack a smile. Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back, and there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. Once an Imperial Legion bulldog, always an Imperial Legion bulldog. I've seen his kind before. He cares about laws and regulations, not people. Uh, seems like a nice enough kid. A little too rich for his own good, maybe. But I've met worse. All right. I have a good idea where that chest might be. That gold is as good as mine. I can't quite decide where I should look. I don't want to break anything, but the chest of gold could be hidden anywhere. Have you spoken to the other guests yet? I suggest you get to know everyone. Who knows how long we'll be stuck in this house together. Hmm? Oh, yes. Maybe we'll speak again later. This is all so strange, isn't it? I don't know why I was invited to come here. But the gold could really help my family. I do hope I find it. Not much to tell about me, really. I'm from Morrowind originally, but my family moved to Valenwood a few years ago. Well, I really don't know her, but she seems like a very respectable old lady. I wonder what makes him so naughty. He seems nice enough to me. He's a very serious man, but I guess that's normal for a retired soldier. He's very handsome, but please don't tell him I said so. <laughs> I have a good idea where that chest might be. That gold is as good as mine. So, you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not accustomed to waiting. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A little young, perhaps, and not exactly highborn, but she possesses a unique elegance. The old woman. She's quite a pest, really. I think she's gotten it into her head that I need mothering or something. She is sorely mistaken. There's something about Nels I can't quite place. 
He's not for money, that's obvious, but I don't think he's quite the buffoon he seems either. He reminds me of the guards under my father's employ, strict, no nonsense, and ready to fight at a moment's notice. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. I have a good idea where that chest might be. That gold is as good as mine. Is that why someone invited us here? To kill us? This is horrible. Locked inside a house with five strangers. It sounded like a trap when I read the invitation. Looks like I was right. The Vizi couldn't have been any more than 15 years old. What threat could she have posed? Why was she murdered? Damn it, I mean, the The poor woman's rather upset. Someone of her bearing isn't accustomed to the horror of murder. When people start turning up dead, it's usually a good idea to keep your eyes on any nearby Nords, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm a Red Guard, though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. Well, when somebody gets murdered, everyone nearby could be considered a suspect. That includes young Primo. It'd be smart to stay with the rest of the group. It's just not safe to go wandering off alone with a killer on the loose. Goodness, two of us are now dead. What's going on in this place? Yes, the poor girl is dead. What a shame. Well, I guess she won't be finding the gold. <laughs> well, the list of suspects is certainly getting smaller. I don't think the swine had it in him, but now I'm not so sure. I... I can't believe he's dead. Such a strong, handsome man. The poor lad is handling all of this better than I expected. It's a testament to his noble bearing, I'm sure. Stay safe, if that's even possible.
It's not safe to be alone. I certainly don't want to be the third victim. Two people are now dead! And for what? A trunk full of coins? How pathetic! She was so beautiful. And now she's gone. She seems frightened, like the rest of us. I bet now she's regretting ever stepping foot in this house, gold or no. He's drinking even more than he was before. Is it because he's afraid? Or feeling guilty? Neville was strong. A soldier. If he was murdered, this does not bode well for the rest of us. Stay safe. Some of us have been murdered. If that's even One possible. of us is a killer. Of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer. But who? Two of us have been murdered. One of us is a killer, but who? It's not safe to be alone. I certainly don't want to be the third victim. get out of here. Three people have been murdered. I'm so very frightened. Yes, the poor girl is dead. What a shame. Well, I guess she won't be finding the gold. <laughs> On each other. So many people dead. I just don't know who to trust anymore. So that means... Ha!
will help an old beggar. I can eat for a day with a single coin. Thank you, kind lady. Yes? Is that so? What a great story. Really now? You'll... Ugh. That's foul. Goodness. What can I say? That's just talk. Really? Interesting. You should be ashamed. Not funny. Not even a little bit. That's just talk. What a great story. Really now. You're such a charmer. Blessings of R.K. upon me. Yes? What are you looking for? The guilds are inside the north walls. To the west. What are you looking for? The castle is on a hill outside the walls, south of town. Shops and guilds are mostly inside the north walls, while the chapel, homes, and one inn are inside the south walls. What are you looking for? The smith, alchemist, and general trader are centrally located inside the north walls. What are you looking for? The West Wheeled Inn is across from the guilds inside the North Walls. Two Sisters Lodge is inside the South Walls, in the West, near the gate. Good day. Good morning. Greetings, Conjurer. What? Who are you? Well, ah, who cares? I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? Adriana may read too much, but you should see the summon spell she taught Viga. He might teach you if you're skilled enough. Oh no, that's Adriana's job, not mine. If you ask about it, don't be surprised if she's annoyed. She doesn't like being interrupted. Some say that Traven is misusing the power of the Archmage's position to further his personal agendas. It's a town like any other. Well, go outside and there's the mountains and wines and sheep. Here in town, though, nothing special. Pay attention and you can learn a lot. Farewell. What's new with you? I've heard that the Nord... Hello there. I'm Elsie Godhater. Yes, I hate the gods, all gods. They can all bite my garters. And if you don't like it, you can bite my garters too. I saw Ugok from Mogok earlier. At least I think it was her. Perhaps it was her sister. Ask me what I think about chapels, praying, the Nine Divines. Go ahead, ask me. The gods don't do a damn thing. Do they even exist? How could anyone tell? Daedra Lords, sure. They exist. They do things. Bad things mostly, but things you can see. The gods? They don't do a damn thing. So why do we build big chapels and sit around and mumble and ask them to save us from this and that? It's stupid. And chapels and priests and folks groveling on their knees? They're stupid too. Farewell. What is it? Don't be shy. Join us and do well by doing good. I hope nobody tries to get away with anything when Captain Dion is around. He's a tough customer. Bye. Welcome to the West Wheeled Inn. I'm Irina Giranis, the proprietor. If you'd like food or a bed, speak to me. Not only does Shamir make a good wine at the Tamika Vineyards, but he's really good with his bow, too. I heard he'll train you. 
for a fee. Count Skingrad has ruled here all my life. The county is quiet and prosperous. In the old days, the Colovian estates were always in the thick of some war or rebellion. But that's ancient history. Bye. What? I understand the Fighters Guild is hiring new members. Not bad work for some folks. What do people do here? In town, shopkeepers, smiths, priests, the usual. Fighters and Mages Guild. The rest are farmers or herders. Wines are a skin grud specialty. And the Surly and Tamika vineyards are famous all over Cyrodiil. Have a good day now. So, you've brought something for me to examine. I hope nobody tries to get away with anything when Captain Dion is around. He's a tough customer. How can I help you examine the Nern route if you don't have one? Come back when you intend to show it to me. Morning. Good to see you. Spare a coin. I understand money is tight, but buying discount spells seems like a bad idea. Anything you like? Wow, Palinaria is a tough negotiator. Hard to get her prices down. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Excellent bargain. You've made a good bit of gold. A fine transaction. A good price for a good customer. You've made a good bit of gold. 
A good price for a good customer. You drive a hard bargain. That seems a fair price. That's more than I would usually pay. You've made a good bit of gold. That's more than I would usually pay. You've got a great deal there. That's a good deal. made a good bit of gold. That's more than I would usually pay. You've made a good bit of gold. An excellent bargain. You've made a good bit of gold. A good price for a good customer. A good price for a good customer. seems a fair price. You've got a great deal there. A fine transaction. That's a good deal. A good price for a good customer. That seems a fair price. That seems a fair price. Thank you. Come again. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. How are you? Savarius Atius. We will comply with the Watch's orders. The Aetius family will stay clear of the Syntabs if they stay clear of us. I agree with the Watch, Captain. This Aetius Syntab feud has gone on long enough. I can control my people. I hope any of you can control his. Goodbye. Fintius has the best bookstore in the city. Of course, First Edition is the only bookstore in the city. Pay attention and you can learn a lot. Let's get to training. Pay attention and you can learn a lot. Pay attention and you can learn a lot. I can show you some new things. You've got a lot to learn. Good day.
I am honored by your presence. How can Ochiva be of assistance? Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and grief. You have earned your reward and bonus, assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets.
has stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Ha! Ah, I expected as much from a dark brotherhood lapdog. I may not survive this fight, but I'll not make it easy for you.
Yes, that is an Argonian heart. Of that I am sure. You have slain Scartail. Well done. Please, take these boots as payment for your services. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. Scartail was once as a brother to me and Ochiva, but his act of treason destroyed any vestige of that relationship. His death was well deserved. May you walk always in the shadow of Cities, dear sister. Greetings once more, Assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. Do you recall the name Adamus Villida? The Imperial Legion best? It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Adamus Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. We tried to eliminate Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man, and was surrounded by powerful associates. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is in fact more vulnerable than ever. The Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. It is a magic arrow specifically enchanted to kill its target, in this case, Philida. As long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die, but it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowin, track Philida, learn his schedule, observe when he removes that blasted legion armor, and then let fly the Rose of Sithis. Kill Philida in any way, Rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, take the very finger from his corpse, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. Adamus Philida will find no rest in retirement, no. His soul will endure a kind of eternal suffering known only to those who have angered Sithis. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. So good to see you. Is there anything you need?
Have mercy, just one coin. I'm so hungry. Thank you, kind lady. I guess Rosentia Galenus got rid of whatever barnyard animals she was keeping inside her house. <laughs> Smells much better now. Go ahead. Blessings of Stendar upon me. Grow Ball always seems ready for a fight. Seems odd for a bookseller. Be seen.
Good morning. So good to see you. Is there anything you need? Adamas Philida is dead. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus, 500 additional gold coins, is well earned. Go now, get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. I am honored by your presence. How can Ochiva be of assistance? I am honored by your presence. How can Ochiva be of assistance? Ah, Assassin, I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter just arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. I recognize this type of parcel. It contains sealed orders. It's addressed to you from Lucien Lachance. You must open these sealed orders immediately and follow their instructions to the letter. It would seem the Black Hand itself has a task for you.